Hi, Jackie Van Riller here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you what you can do if you have hooded eyes. If you're not already subscribed to my Instagram channel, make sure you subscribe there because I do post the face maps that go along with the videos here or there on Instagram, and then you can follow along with the face maps instead of having to refer to the video every time you're watching one. So the hooded eyes, and you can tell that I have slightly hooded eyes, they kind of drop down a little bit onto the eyes in here. Some people will have a lot of droopiness in this area. This is a lot of times associated with issues with the um, intestinal tract or with digestion, and usually it can be associated with things like diarrhea and bloating and things like that. Emotionally, your eyes and how open your eyes are tell a lot about how willing you are to share yourself with the world. So when you have hooded eyes, you might be there might be parts of yourself that you're not willing to share with the world, and it may be because you have feelings of unworthiness or you don't feel confident enough to share your, all of your dreams and hopes and desires and things like that with the world. So we're gonna start with some points to um, relax the nervous system. So halfway up your forehead and about two thirds of the way down. So kind of going back and forth, we get points 124. On the right hand side, this has to do with the gallbladder. On the left hand side, this has to do with the spleen. The spleen has to do with anything that is droopy um, and it's a lifting point. So it's about lifting yourself up emotionally um, giving yourself confidence, but also about lifting up anything in your body. So anything that's droopy is usually a spleen imbalance. Okay, then we're going to work the paired point with that point, which is right here at the inner brow. And these points relax the nervous system. A lot of times when we're stressed or our nervous system is stressed out, it might be a time when we are unlikely to share bigger parts of ourselves or to really go after our desires. And so as we release stress from our nervous system, you might find that you're more open and willing and actually excited about going after things that excite you. Okay, the spleen is also about having a um, calm mind. So we're gonna work this point right in the center of the forehead, which has to do with the mind. If your mind is going a thousand miles a minute, you're ruminating on your thoughts, you can't shut your mind off, that's oftentimes a spleen imbalance and it can cause anxiety and the inability to make decisions. Okay, coming down a little bit, we have a point for the pineal gland. This is a point that's going to help to um, activate your intuition, your ability to listen to yourself or to listen to God. A lot of times the um, pineal gland is about our spiritual connection and our connection to our higher power. Okay. Coming in between the brows, we have a point 26. This is for the pituitary gland, and this is your power center. So this is about where the liver manifests on the face. And it's about giving you power and energy to go after those things that are important to you and to go after your life's purpose. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna take our magic wand and we're actually going to lift up on the brow in this area. You can also support that brow if you want to. This area might be very tender, for some people it is. And if it is, back off on the pressure. You're not trying to make it hurt. You just want to get a little bit of a lifting action there. You can also go right underneath the brow and lift up that way. And this is a great thing you can do on a regular basis just to train that lid to have a lifting effect. Okay, and then just notice how one side is more lifted than the other. Coming in and doing the same thing. This particular move in here is something that you might want to do a few times a day, particularly if you're trying to train that hooded lid to stay up. And as you do that, notice if, as you have more of a uh, lifted effect, if you also emotionally feel more um, confident being who you are. You might notice that you are actually going after things that you enjoy doing, that you're telling or sharing more of yourself with the world that you feel more confident overall. Okay. Then we're gonna work our stomach and spleen on the left-hand side of the face. Spleen is going to be in line with the flare of the nose directly underneath the iris of the eye. Again, the spleen is a lifting point. Anything that's sagging on your body, this can be veins such as varicose veins, hemorrhoids, bruising easily, um, or things like that, even jowls or droopy brows or whatever, the spleen is a lifting point. So it's about increasing confidence, increasing feelings of self-worth, 
And then we're gonna come down in line with the bottom of the nose, directly over the smile lines, and we got a point for the stomach. The stomach is about reducing worry and feeling calm and cool and collected. Then we're gonna go over to the other side in line with the bottom of the nose, directly under the iris of the eye. We have the liver point. The liver is about power, giving you the energy, the motivation, the dopamine, to have focus and concentration to go after the things that you want. Moving a little bit to the right of the liver point, we have the gallbladder, and that provides courage. So the spleen and the gallbladder are good points for working together when you're looking to achieve more in your life to be more prosperous. Then we're going to finish up by working this very top and middle part of the chin, and this is a point for the small intestine, which is about making good life choices, it's about finding nutrients in the food that you eat, and a good point for overall digestion. Notice how you felt before you started this protocol, and notice how you feel afterwards. Do you feel like a little boost? I certainly do. And of course, we're gonna finish up by working around the ear. So working where the top of the ear meets the face, coming down the front side of the ear. This is activating up that uh, lymphatic drainage passageway coming up behind the ear and doing circles. This sets the formula in. It helps to improve lymphatic drainage and decrease puffiness from the face. It helps to balance out your nervous system, your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system. We want to be able to easily adjust our energy. Sympathetic uses energy, parasympathetic conserves energy. So you want to be able to activate our energy use when we need it, and also relax and heal when we don't need to be using energy. So always please comment below on what you felt after doing this routine. And make sure that subscribe and you send these videos to your friends and family. Super easy way to maintain good health and emotional well-being. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.